Hi guys, it's Jake at Canadian Cutting Edge and today is Miscellany Monday and we're going to take a look at pens today. Pens that are called tactical pens. Budget tactical pens. These two are by Fura, F-U-R-A is the name brand. They are a very budget tactical pen uh, from Gearbest. Very low priced, single digits in, you know, dollar wise, single digits low single digits, five, six, seven bucks uh, US, and uh, I've got two samples to uh, let you in on today. So if you're interested at all in these, stick around because we're looking at pens. These are called tactical pens, but I'm not really sure how tactical, well at least one of them is, this uh, brass one for example. Uh, this orange one Let's talk about it uh, after we've talked about the brass one and we'll, this is probably the more tactical of the two. Put that off to the side. When you buy this brass one, you can buy it two different ways. Uh, you can see on here how you've got this end that's cut on an angle. You can get it this way or you can get it what they're calling a flat head. So you can get it, uh, you know, so it's basically this on both ends. Or you can buy it this way with, you know, the extra little angle on there, little sharp point. If you're going to use this tactically, I guess you would hold it like this, perhaps. Put your thumb over this end so it won't fly out of your hand. And you've got that end to uh, help people decide to do what you want them to do. <laughs> For lack of a better way of saying it. Uh, as a pen, it uh, unscrews at the end that has the cap on it, and uh, it's just like a regular pen. And uh, you can just put that back on for now, and you grab it in the middle, and right very much in the middle, it unscrews. And you can clearly see that it's brass just from the coloring there. I know the lighting just, I have to do something about the lighting when I'm doing this. I just don't understand why it works so good in portrait mode but when I do the camera straight down it doesn't the lighting just doesn't work that well. <clears throat> Anyhow the ink that's inside is like this and um, I'm not sure exactly what that model is called but I went to a couple different stores. I went to Staples, I went to Walmart. It's very easy to find replacement ink for these. Uh, it's a very it's a standard size and ink replacement. You can get them in different colors and different tips and stuff. It's very common. And so you put that back in and uh, screw it back tight. There's no washers or anything anywhere. You just give it a nice turn and the brass will hold it. And uh, just like the threads there, holds on nice and tight. And, you know, it writes good. Oop. Why do I keep saying good when I should be saying well? It writes well. It doesn't write good. I write good, it writes well. <laughs> uh, comes in black. You can get it just about any other way you want it. Uh, the price for this is uh, $6.91 Canadian, uh, $5 and one penny uh, US. It comes in this pouch. That's a little sort of felty kind of pouch and you've got your string on there. I don't know how many of you would want to keep your pen this way unless you're leaving it in a drawer and you don't want it to get dusty or whatever. Um, I only kept this pouch because I'm going to do the video. And once the video is done, you know, that's probably going in the garbage because I really don't have a use for that. Uh, it's just the pen itself is, you know, it's sort of like a novelty to me more so than a tactical knife. Tactical knife. Than a tactical pen. Um, and, you know, there's no pocket clip on it. There's nothing like that. It's just something that you would drop into you, either your shirt pocket or any other pocket that you have uh, and keep it on your person that way or put it in a pen cup or whatever on your desk or whatever. And a little bit of a novelty more than anything else. And it's, you know, for the price, it's not a bad novelty item at all. So there you go. That's that one. This orange one, it comes with uh, aluminum. It's made of aluminum, I should say. This is made from 6061 aluminum. It comes in this uh, orange or a gray or a black. There's uh, single digits of each one of these left at uh, Gearbest right now. And 
this is more of a tactical pen than the other one is most definitely. It comes with the tungsten glass breaking tip. Hopefully it'll focus on this. There you go. So the tip is nice and strong and hard and uh, you know I scra scratched some glass with it. Works well for that. And you go to open the knife up and uh, you've got your pen tip there. You've got rubber washers, which is a good thing. This guy's uh, you know, water resistant. I'm not sure how waterproof it is, but it's definitely water resistant. And uh, you know, it also writes fairly well. Not quite as uh, good of a flow of ink as the other one, but you know that's you know just the way it is. It's a very low price. You get this guy at seven ninety five Canadian or $5.79 US, and there's the refill for it. Uh, both of these knives, both of these, I keep saying knives, both of these pens are by Fura, um, F-U-R-A, and they have two different types of inserts, but they're both fairly common, fairly standard. This was easy to find as well. I found it at every place that I checked out. Uh, oof, Gear Best has this refill as well, and uh, they're selling this refill at 49 cents US uh, per refill. So you could grab a few of these refills right away and uh, you'd be ready, no problem. It's the refill that's got this ratcheting kind of top, but the system doesn't have any ratcheting at all in it. So that's just the way it is. There's a spring inside. Don't lose that spring or else the pen's not going to um, sit quite right in there. Pick it up that way. So let's put it back together. There we go, so the pen's in there. Tighten that up so it's nice and tight. And the pen's ready to use. Uh, there's that tip end. Unfortunately, the cap doesn't sit on the end of the pen at all. It just, you know, there's no way of having it sit there, so you have to put it to the side. Very much like this one, um, it doesn't have a way of keeping everything together. The uh, little uh, ridges cut out of here make it uh, well to grab. It's it's easy to write with. Feels good in the fingers. Uh, you know, not a bad pen if you need a pen on your person. And when you close it up, it's actually very tactical in that you can put your thumb over this end, and now you've got not only an end that can break glass, but that's a little more persuasive than the other pen is. Um, you can take the cap off of this end if you want to, and remove the pocket clip. And uh, you could just tighten it back down. It will leave that little of a, that little hole right there where the pen pocket clip was, but you have that option if you want it without the pocket clip. I assume most people will probably want it with the pocket clip. So uh, I'm putting the pocket clip back on. but it's easy to take apart and easy to put back together. Nice knurling all over the place, so it's got a little bit extra grip, a little texture. Um, you know, it'll hold secure in your hand if you need to use it. You don't have to spend an awful lot of money on tactical pens by the bigger name brands. You know, you don't have to spend 30, 40, 50 dollars US. If you just want to think about, is this something that you might want to carry? Uh, grab one of these, and there's, I think there's some more at Gearbest as well. I'll link all of them in the description below so that you can take a look at them and buy them if you want to. Uh, please use my links, that'll really help me out an awful lot, especially if it's before March uh, 29th. If you use my Gearbest links, it'll really help me out by... Uh, Gearbest is doing a big promotion for associates like I am. If we have people use our links more than usual by 30% or higher, they're going to give us uh, a bonus. And for me, the bonus would be huge. Uh, a $200 bonus if uh, the usage goes up by 30% and uh, all the way up to $1,000. And uh, that would just make a huge difference for me. I'd use the money for buying more equipment, probably uh, put it down on a uh, laptop. Uh, my computer, my laptop's like six years old. It can't even run the editing software that I want to run. I have to use uh, Windows Movie Maker to make these videos. And Well, there's all kinds of needs and things that I have for this channel. And, uh, you know, it's a good way that you can help out without it costing you a penny. 
but I'm only asking you to use my links if you're going to buy GearBest stuff anyway. Now, I'm not asking you to spend money that you don't want to spend. It's just if you're spending it, please use my links. You can also email me at CanadianCuttingEdge at gmail.com with a link of anything that you're planning on buying, and I could respond with a referral link, and you could use that. Uh, it's a great way that you could help out if you want to. So thanks so much for uh, all this stuff, and remember, remember, cut towards your chum and not your thumb. <laughs>